pivot table we can where we can um, relate two tables together right really cool stuff uh, make sure that you understand each of them before jumping into another one all right before jumping to the next lectures all right so let's just comment all this out and one thing that I want to point out all right remember that here we have in every method we are also can have multiple parameters to customize the columns all right just in case you have different column names all right so right here you can join two of the tables let's say for example now you don't not join two other tables right now you're saying in this many to many relationship let's say in this rules method here you want to define the table name all right and you have let's say you have a different table name let's say your table is not role user like we have in the um, in the migration right here you can define the name of that table that you have customize it so let's say for example your table is user roles okay this is where you define that all right the third parameter is going to be the key or the foreign key so we're gonna say user ID okay and here you could say the role ID all right I hope you see how useful this is all right so this is the the foreign key all right of the user users table all right and this is the foreign key of the roles table but here we define the name of that custom table that we can create now we don't have we were following convention and I told you the best re the best way to follow uh, the best way to do this is by doing role user so that way we don't have to come here and create these extra parameters right that's why we don't have to do this anymore all right and uh, let's actually I'm gonna comment this out so at least you have it and you know what what they are I'm gonna comment this out real quick and just all right I'm gonna comment it out right here we don't have we don't need those extra parameters because we are following convention if not we were using a different table in the migration a, a different table name we will have to do this all right so you can put a little comment here um, to customize customize table names and columns follow follow the format below all right you could do something like that all right I just wanted to give you that tip now uh, another tip that I wanted to also bring up is that we can also do the inverse of this relationship just like we did before with the user right the user we have we came here with posts and we created this inverse relationship right so all I have to do is go to role right here and I could create a users method so public function users like this all right uh, there we go and now I just do this return this belongs to many and app user that's all so if I want to return the owner of that specific role I just come here and create this relationship right here you see how easy this is I'm gonna leave this the way it is right here but just know that it's super easy to do the inverse on that now another thing that I want you to learn here and this is just mainly a a um, a tip lecture now if you want to access the intermediate table all right what you can do is you can go to let's say the routes let's go to routes real quick I'll show you right now this is what this uh, lecture is mainly about but I took my um, I took the freedom the liberty of giving you a couple of tips before okay so you could say this accessing accessing the intermediate table in the intermediate table here it's the pivot table okay so you can say pivot or oh, some some of you might pronounce it as 
pivot or um, lookup table or something like that. It's accessing. Uh, and, all right. Beautiful, the spell check, right? So now if you want to access that pivot table, we first need to find the user, right? Or let's create a route, right? It makes no sense if we don't create a route. Let's just say um, user pivot like this, okay? And function. Oops, what am I doing here, guys? Um, I'm missing all this stuff. There we go. What is this? What did, what did I do? There we go. Let's just do this. All right. I turned myself into a mess there for a minute. All right. So now we, we find the user. This, is, this happens when you code too many hours straight. All right. You start doing things in your head before you even do it in the code and you get mixed up. So we find the user, right? We find user one, then we get a for each loop here. And we say user roles as role. Watch this, it's gonna be pretty fun. And you can say echo role pivot or pivot uh, created at. Oops. There we go. Let's find out the created app for this intermediate, right? Let's just uh, access this like this. So, user. Pivot, enter, and created ad. It's not available. And the reason why created app might not be available is because we have to let it know to give it to us. Actually, we misspell, misspelled it or something. Let's just find out real quick. User roles. Oh, because we don't have a created ad. All right. So, oops, what's going on with my table? Row user. And created at. Here we go. And let's just do this one too, real quick. Why not? Right? And now if we go back. Let's see if we can find that browser somewhere. Created at. User. Pivot. All right, it's making me look really bad, guys. User roles, role, pivot, created at. Hmm. That's weird. Huh. Let's actually do this real quick. Return. All right, let's see if we can get something out of it. Enter. There we go. All right, we at least see the pivot, the pivot table, but for some reason we don't get the created app. But we're supposed to get created app. Let's see if we can, if we put a time somewhere. 12, 3, 5, let's see if that works, oops, created at, okay, what about the, that's supposed to come out, but it's something they're preventing us from seeing this. And I forgot, it's, it has to be in the model somewhere. 
where um, actually hold on let's go to the model real quick and this belongs table let's just be pivot we I think we have to let it know the columns that we want to pull out so we want to pull out the created at and what was the other one let's go to routes real quick yeah let's just pull that one out I think that's all we got to do all right let's go and enter no I think I mean spelling it right here pivot oh I'm doing it in the wrong place guys I'm sorry all right let's go to um, user right here and there we go all right let's see there we go we got the created at uh, column information out uh, for the intermediate right so that's pretty cool but make sure that you let the model know that you want to pull out that intermediate table information column all right with this method right here I almost forgot sometimes you know when you, I mean, I'm used to writing with the before Laravel versions you know like uh, point uh, Laravel 4 and and all the versions of 4 and then Laravel 5.0 and 5.1 5.2 and so on all right so time changes and make sure that you read the documentation make sure that you subscribe to the Laravel news so that way you can get up to date with what's going on with different functionality every time they release a new version all right so that's why it's always good to keep updated all right so I guess I got to read a little bit more and um, I don't barely use this much so that's why I didn't remember and I remember that the model itself has so many different functionalities so many different methods and properties that you cannot even imagine to learn them all is almost impossible all right now to go through them all is not impossible but to remember them all it is so if you don't use this much you're gonna forget and that's why you you at least need to do it one time so that way you know that something is wrong and you can look it up all right but anyway thank you so much for watching and I hope this was very uh, informative for you and I'll see you in the next lectures bye bye